sisters and brothers of America. It fills my heart with joy unspeakable to rise in response to the warm and cordial welcome which you have given us. I thank you in the name of the most ancient order of monks in the world. I thank you in the name of mother of religions and I thank you in the name of millions and millions of Hindu people. My thanks also to some of the speakers on this platform who refer to the delegates have told you that these men from far off nations have, may well climb the honor of bearing to the different hands the idea of toleration. I am proud to tell you that I belong to the religion which has taught the world tolerance and both universal acceptance. We believe not only in universal toleration but we accept all religion as true. I am proud to tell you that I belong to the nation which has sheltered the persecuted and the refugees of all religions and all nations of the earth. I am proud to tell you that we have gathered in our bosom the purest remnant and of the isolates who came to southern India and took refuge with his ear in which their holy temple was shattered to pieces. I will quote you a Britain, a few lines from the hymn which I remember from my earliest, every day repeated by millions of human beings. As the different streams having their souls, as the different streams having their souls all mingled in the water in sea. So, O oh Lord, the different paths which men take through the different tendencies, varies through the appear, cropped or straight, all linked to thee. The present convention, which is one of the most august assembly ever held, is in itself a vindication, a declaration to the world of the wonderful doctrine preached in the Gita. But the time has come. I fervently hope that this well for this morning, this convention may well death kneel of all fanatism and of all persecution with the sword or with the pen and of all uncharitable feelings between persons vending 